all good. Well, boys, I saw your um, story in the paper, and it's pretty terrible um, what uh, what uh, people are sort of doing these days. So, um, yeah, sorry that obviously that happened to your bike, and um, you know, haven't got them back. But um, I thought of something, and I, I rang Trent when I heard about it, and um, I've, I had a, I've got a bike myself, and um, basically it's only for um, I keep it here for my nephews. They, they live in Germany, so when they come here, they're uh, probably getting a bit big for it now, so we'll probably get a new one. So. I rang Trent and said if um if by some chance you guys um didn't get them back in time or didn't get them back at all, uh, let me know and um, I'm happy for you guys to um to have mine. So um, I'd like you to have mine. All right, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Put this door up a little bit. Better. Mm. No worries, boys. We'll jump on it and see what you think. Alright, look at that. 140. Now I've got bigger bikes than anyone we know. Have you? Look here. Look here. Go on. It's just so embarrassed, I think. Just just flabbergasted more than anything else, I'd reckon. Hello, um, I'm Thomas Morfitt and this is my brother Jonathan Morfitt. Hello. And a couple of weeks ago we lost our two motorbikes from our home in Pine Street. And um, today one of my mum's friends and um, my nan's friends gave us his motorbike out of his kind heart. And we just love it. So thank you. Yeah, we think he's the nicest person we've ever met to give us something that we didn't pay for or even earn is just amazing. That's all the